Hey there, Brady here with your daily tennis lesson. So we've been looking at directionals all week. Simply put, did the ball from my opponent cross over this invisible line of my body or did it stay on the same side of my body? If it stayed on the same side, we know that's an inside ball. If it crossed over the line, we know that's an outside ball. And simply with those two ideas, the, the idea I'm trying to follow is that with most outside balls, I don't want to try to redirect the tennis ball. I'd like to hit it back where it came from. And with an inside ball that remained on the same side of my body from my opponent's racket to, to my racket, redirecting that shot is, is honestly a good idea. Okay, so Mark and I are going to just play a few points. He's going to serve a, a point to the do side, serve a point to the add side. No script really going here, but I'm going to recap both the points and see if following the directionals, you know, breaking off, maybe choosing not to follow the directionals was a good idea, bad idea, and, and just kind of see how we go here. All right? Okay, Mark, when you're ready, fire it up. Okay, so let's break that back down. Kind of nice clean rally. Good serve up the tee, goes into my backhand. I like that from Mark because my backhand's not as good as my forehand. But what that allowed me is it's an inside ball. So I wanted the nice free swing, hit it out in front a little more. Good pop on the return, goes into Mark's backhand. And it seemed like kind of a slow bleed on Mark's half. The ball got a little softer, a little shallower each time. So by that last ball, I'm running around creating my forehand, which I'd rather hit, and that turned it into an inside ball. At that point, with me inside the baseline, I'll take my chances any direction on the court. Just felt good about going to my left there. Okay, so I followed those directionals early, and then by the end of the rally, was able to kind of throw them out because I got a ball that I could handle pretty much any way I wanted to. All right, Mark, let's go again. Do, or excuse me, add side here. Okay, so we could actually do one more point, but let's look at that, all right? So Mark serves me up the tee. It's obviously an inside ball. I get my forehand, my favorite shot. And no brainer because going up the line means my point of contact is farther in front. I actually get the, the better timing, earlier swing, more aggressive swing. And that, that's actually a pretty high percentage target for me there. So I think Mark would maybe do that if, if this was a match. Mark might do that twice and then say, okay, I can't serve there anymore because that's, that's just setting me up to to have a really comfortable return game on this side. So likely to see an outside ball here to my backhand, and we'll see how that point plays out. Okay, so that, that actually worked out nice for me. I don't think that would happen all the time, but that outside ball returned to my backhand I a lot of times go slice because I control my cross court direction really well. And off a of first serve, I'm slowing the pace of the rally down with my slice. Mark hit me probably a little bit too much of a neutral ball off my slice and I'm able to run around and, and get a forehand there. Regardless, I'm still, I'm still, if I lose that rally, at least opening with a 50-50 chance by taking that outside ball return and going cross court because my percentage of shots made should be pretty high. If Mark ends up beating me there, you know, he most likely just played well. So, you know, there's some point play, I think. Again, probably long story short with directionals, they're great to follow a lot of the time, but they're not the law. Try to, try to get into your weapon, try to use your footwork to create as many inside ball chances on outside ball kind of shots as often as possible. 
and all in all, hit back in the direction that your opponent hit into you with. You can never really go wrong there. Okay, so that's all I got for you guys today. Hope that was super helpful. Please click like below this video, and if you have not subscribed to our channel yet, please do so, as well as check down below me in the description of this video. You'll find the link to three free courses Mark and I put together. I think you'll find those really helpful as well. All right, so until next time, be well. We'll see you soon at Daily Tennis Lesson.